Welcome back fellow bowlers, coaches and pro shop operators. I am back with another interesting test. One that is talked often on and off social media, like my favorite Facebook group, World of Science by Mike Pinnell. So what is it? How fast does a solid ball range shine? Coming up. I wanted to test this in various uh, methods and uh, I still will, but this is a first simple real life method to test it. I'm going to use a strong solid cover stock, the NEX from Storm, which you can find on the Higher Max, on the Proton Physics, and on the Supernova. And I prepared this uh, cover stock at around 1000 to 1500, which is a pretty frequent surface to use with your solid boiling ball. So, what will I do? I will throw 11 shots to simulate a game where the, the ball is used for the, the first shot. And I will scan the ball before with the Daddy of Scanners, the Jacob Desktop Laser Scanner which scans 44,000 points around the wall and then I'm going to scan it after one game and we're going to see how much the surface changes. Okay, simple. I will not edit the video at all. There will be no way to interfere with the result. You will, be, you will see the ball on the rack, then being thrown, then coming back on, on the ball return, then being thrown again, etc. and then scanned all in frame because you know anyone can edit the video and uh, present any kind of results they want right well i like full transparency in my tests i don't want there to be any doubts of what is happening and what i'm seeing is what you're seeing let's go welcome it was too loud here so i removed the sound and will voice over Okay, here I am scanning my strong cover solid ball. The first scan is going to be with the finger holes up. And our first result is 1100. Next scan is pretty much perpendicular to that. And we have 1000. Great. Now, as I mentioned, let's scan the track area specifically as well. I'm scanning usually one uh, scan near the finger holes and one further away. And our first scan is 1300. Okay. So here we're going to do another one, and I'm placing the ball so that it scans further away from the finger holes, but still on the track area. And this one is, let's see. This one is 1600. Hmm. So I guess I missed a spot there while resurfacing, which is rare, but okay, no one is perfect. Still, we're interested in the variance that we're going to see later on, so it's fine. Okay, so now as I prepare and throw these shots, we will go to warp speed so we can arrive to the results.
Okay, we're done. Let's see how our bowling ball changed after 11 shots. First scan again with the fingers holes out so that we compare the same areas. And it's 3500. So from 1100 to 3500. Now let's check our second scan. That's 3200. Actually, it's a little bit more because we have letters on the way. It's 3300. So from 1000 to 3300 for the second scan. So as a general overall grid average, the ball goes from about 1000 to around 3500. I told you solid balls shine fast. Remember, this is just one game or 11 shots. Side note, if you throw your spares with the same ball, it would be at 3500 by your 5th or 6th frame. And a 1000 ball will behave differently than a 3500 solid ball. Some of you might notice it directly, others maybe not. Maybe you can notice it indirectly though. Meaning your good shot of say the 10th frame crossed the same targets but went a bit further down lane and maybe it came a, bit, a little bit late and behind the, the, the head pin. So, yes, you may still be in the pocket, but you don't get a strike there. And you don't know why, because you felt that your shot was quite good. Well, now you know a possible reason. Okay, now we're going to check the track area and see if the surface grid number there is any different. Is it lower? Is it higher? Tell you what. Pause the video and write in the comments uh, what your prediction is. Let's see how close you can get. For those of you that thought it would be a different number, no. 3400, it's the same as the rest of the ball. I bet most of you are surprised. After all, this area is in contact with the lane, right? So why isn't it giving a different result? Well, I will explain that in a future video because I want to make a visually helpful experiment about it. So keep an eye out on, for that. And let's scan the other track area further from the finger holes. It's also 3500, so the same as the rest of the ball. Cool, right? So let's sum it all up. So, results. Strong, solid ball. One game, 11 shots. Started at 1000 to 1500. More like 1200. Ended up at 3500. Some of you may be surprised by this, but these are the data. So if you hear any fellow bowler, any friend, any YouTuber, anyone uh, say anything different than what you saw today, well, send them to watch this video. You might say, okay, Limos, but what are the implications, the practical implications of this result? Well, it is logical to assume that as you're bowling, your bowling ball, we see that it's getting shinier and that means that it will start going longer, it will skid more. But because it, it's gradual, you may not, be, not see it easily. Another reason you may not see it easily is that uh, if others are playing your line, they are, you are all removing oil from the first half of the lane. So, you have a ball that's getting shinier, but the line is getting drier, so it maybe it balances out a bit. So, you gotta be careful about these things. It's not gonna be super extremely obvious. But, what you might see is that uh, maybe you, did, you made a good shot and the result was not what you expected. It's safe to say that the shape of the ball might be changing a little bit. 
So if the ball was dull, you had an arc. Right now it's getting shinier, so it's gonna be going straight, more straight, longer, and have a little bit more pronounced uh, arc. Trying to to change to the hockey stick motion, but just a little bit. If we play more with this point ball, it's going to shine up even more. And we're going to see this even more. And if you want to see how a solid, dull bowling ball lane shines after two games or three games, maybe if you want that information for your league, tell me in the comments below and uh, I will try to do it. So sometimes you made a good shot, you think it was going to strike, and you got eight or nine pins. The reasons could be many, but now you know that one of the reasons could be that your bowling ball is changing, continuously changing its surface while you bowl. So maybe you can be less hard on yourself and on your execution. I often see players that make a shot, they seem to like it, they don't get the result that they, they, they expected, and immediately they start second guessing their execution. When it could be a little bit of targeting, a little bit of speed, a little bit of the ball changing, but most people don't know the ball is changing. And that's one of the reasons I did this video for you. I am certain this video is going to help some people, I hope a lot of people, and if people want to help back, there are some donation links in the description below, and uh, also please uh, consider subscribing, liking and sharing the video. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.